There is one thing that makes readers come back again and again to read your books. One thing to building a loyal readership that gives you a long-term career as an author. Today, I'm diving into brand. And don't run away. I know that that word can be scary for a lot of us. We don't want a personal brand. We don't want our whole lives on the internet, on social media. We maybe write under a pen name and feel like, how can we have a personal brand with a pen name? But it is all possible. And building a personal brand around your books is crucial for success. In today's video, I want to share with you a few tips for building your own powerful magnetic author brand that will keep readers coming back for more. First, I want to share that I have a new freebie. It's 10 tools that I use every week to market my books as an author. It is just a free download for you. Nine out of the 10 tools are free as well. So a lot of free value that you can get from these tools. There are things that I use for social media, for market research, for getting media and podcast opportunities to market my book. So lots of value in there. And you'll also get put on my Marketing Monday email list where I send out free book marketing tips and strategies every single week. Definitely go ahead and add your name to that freebie. I will link it in the description for you. Let's dive into why author brands are so crucial. The first thing that I would love to ask you to do is just think about your favorite authors and what draws you into them. A lot of us are probably jumping to their books, the quality of their books, the contents of their books, the feelings that you can remember whenever you were reading those books. And that all goes into your book's positioning. Now I want you to think of any authors that you might follow on social media or you're on their newsletter or you love to listen to interviews with them and think of a few reasons why you feel connected to them. What is it about their content or the things that they talk about, the way that their website or newsletter looks or feels that pulls you in to wanting more? All of that is part of their author brand and it can be such a powerful tool in making readers feel connected to you and wanting to come back for more. Your brand as an author is something that can help you stand out in the crowded market and set yourself apart from other writers because we are all so unique. Even if we are writing similar genres, even if we have a similar plot in our books, there is a reason that readers come to you or will come to you if you're just getting started. And it's because of the unique aspects of you and your storytelling and your writing. Your author brand is how you portray yourself to the world your values, your voice, your style, all of these things comprise your personal brand. There are readers looking for authors that they can connect to on a personal level. And having a strong personal brand will help you deepen that connection with those readers. It's the way that you portray yourself on social media, on your website, in other types of media, in interviews, and all of the above that keeps you top of mind for readers whenever you release a new book, and it's that type of loyalty that keeps them following you and wanting to know your updates. Is this person writing a new book? When is their new book going to be out? I can't wait to read what they have next. It shows professionalism and commitment to what we do as writers. Whenever we can go and see consistency across someone's social media, across their website, and it can lead to more speaking opportunities, shows commitment to publishers and agents when we can have a loyal audience because of our brand, which in turn can lead to more opportunities for us with publishing in our careers, speaking opportunities. So it really is an important aspect of being in the publishing world. So let's think about some ways to brainstorm your own unique voice and style. The first thing that I would love for you to do is brainstorm your own uniqueness. Think through these questions and even pause this video and take a moment to write a few of these answers down. The first question is, what do you want to be known for as a writer? Question number two, what are three words that a reader might use to describe you and your work? And don't just list your genre. If you write young adult romance, don't use young adult romance as your three words. Think outside the box at what they might use to describe you and your work as a whole. Maybe the emotions, the feelings, the tropes, 
the knowledge that you share. And then finally, what are some of the themes or topics that you really explore in your work? These are wonderful topics and themes to think about for any marketing content that you're putting out there on social media. So again, feel free to pause and think through those questions. The next piece to this is really consistency and the visual elements to your brand. So think colors, think fonts, think just a similar look and feel to your content. Knowing your genre also plays a key role in this. For example, if you are a children's author, your author photo and the colors that you use on your website and your marketing materials are going to be vastly different from someone promoting their how to build your business book. They're very, very different audiences, very, very different feelings. I want the children's book author's photo to be fun and colorful. Maybe they're stuffed animals. Maybe they're wearing a funky shirt. Whereas with the business person, I might expect a suit. I might expect if they're a more lax person, they're wearing a business casual outfit and there's a little bit of personality in there, but they're still very, very different images. The same goes for whenever I go to their social media platform. The children's author probably has a lot of fun colors and funky fonts, and they're creating fun and educational content that could inspire both parents and children. And then whenever I go to the business book author's page, I'm probably seeing a little bit more formal content. Maybe they're giving educational business tips in videos, simple graphics that would appeal to their audience. So these are really vastly different brands. And once you decide on that, you want to be consistent with it. Pick a couple fonts that you use, a few colors that you use. You can even look into the different meanings of colors. For example, I love yellow and yellow is a big part of my brand. It means happiness, it means calm. I love the joy that it brings me as well as others. So you can either pick colors based off of just what you enjoy, but you can also have a more strategic approach to the types of emotions you want to evoke in people and choose colors that tend to evoke those emotions. And then you want to tie all of this together and use all of these elements across your social media posts, across your author website. These elements should appear in your newsletter. So all of this creates one consistent brand. Whenever someone sees a post of yours on social media, your goal is that they should know that is you from the moment they see your post. That is my goal whenever people come to my page and see a post. If they've been following me for a little bit, I want them to know instantly that is a Shelby Lee post, and that should be your goal as well. I hope these tips helped you think a little bit more deeply about your own personal brand as an author. It really is so important, and that's why I am creating one of my biggest courses yet that is going to dive even deeper into the art of the personal brand as an author, specifically focusing on building that engagement and loyalty with your audience on social media. And I also have a guest expert coming in to teach a module in this course. So I'm really, really excited for it. I hope you're excited too. And if you have any questions about author branding or social media marketing as an author, do me a favor and put them in the comments below because I would love to do a Q&A video soon on this channel, but also make sure that I'm incorporating all of your questions into the course that I'm creating for you. Please go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe for more book marketing tips every single week. And I will see you next time. Don't forget to promote your book this week.